subscribe to m code and ring the notification bell to get the latest content okay so i hope you understood map reduce in detail and how it works under the hood so let's discuss about the yarn which is also known as yet another resource negotiator so as the name suggests yarn is nothing but the resource negotiator or resource manager of hadoop cluster so yarn will separate resource management from the job scheduling in hadoop and it is like a revolutionary tool in hadoop ecosystem so it allows better user so it will allow you for better resource utilization as well as it supports multiple processing frameworks so since hadoop is a pretty versatile tool and during installation as well we have seen that there are so many services that are tied to hadoop and works seamlessly with hadoop it is because of the great resource negotiator which is yarn so let's understand the architecture of yarn in detail now so if we talk about the yarn the major component of yarn is nothing but the resource manager so let's say this is the integral part of yarn which is the resource manager so resource manager is nothing but a vital component of yarn and it has all the authorities so it has all the access to the resource allocation across the cluster as well as as authority to execute any job on the cluster so it is mainly focused on resource allocation as well as the job scheduling part and we also have another component which is the node manager so node manager is nothing but manages the node so as the name suggests it is installed on all the nodes across the cluster so if we talk about it as a part of the architecture let's say we have the data node or we can say it as worker node so this is like the node manager so node manager is present on all the nodes across the cluster so this is the also the node manager and also let's say if we have like another data node then this is the node manager and the duty of node manager is to check the health of the resource which is nothing but our data node and see how it is occupied all the usages of the disk how it is occupied what are all the tasks and its availability for the job execution so now let's discuss it with some simple example so let's say this is our client right so client submits an application to hadoop cluster all the information will go to the resource manager now so resource manager will see the overall availability of all the resources and according to that it creates the plan for that execution which is also known as execution plan so this execution plan based on the availability of the resources the health of the resources as well as the data locality of all the resources and this information is given by the node manager about the resource allocation of that particular data node so the resource manager will submit the application across the cluster as per the availability of this three data nodes and then node manager will have like the application container on each data node and then it tracks all the progress and sends the signal in real time to the resource manager about the status of the progress as well as the resource allocation status and all other information will go to the resource manager so resource manager is the way is very important for orchestrating all this procedure and submitting the application across these clusters and the role of node manager is like to communicate between the data node as well as the resource manager and get the most accurate information in real time to complete the application within the timelines so at last the benefit of yarn is like it has the improved resource utilization as well as the scalability because yarn will enhance the cluster efficiency by regularly checking and dynamically allocating the resources based on the application need so different application needs different resources and it enables organization to scale their workloads and as the demand will grow so this is how yarn will work under the hood to manage all the resources and helps organization 
to run their workloads within the given timelines. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next lecture.